Hey everybody, how's it going today? Back with my 28th application review, so let's get this one started. I do have one paid app for you guys, I'll save that one till the end. But until then, let's start it off with Burning Tires Light. Uh, this is a free app from the App Store, and it's at the top of the free apps leaderboards actually right now. Um, very simple application, it's just another great 3D, great graphics racing game. Uses the accelerometer nicely. The only problem with it is it's got quite a few loading screens, which can get, which can get quite annoying. Uh, this is the light version, so it's only got one car and like two courses to choose from. And uh, the thing kind of sticks about it is from the two courses, there doesn't seem to be too much of a difference. I mean, yeah, the visuals are different for them, but um, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like it's just very repetitive. You're not going up like a mountainside. You're just going straight through some desertous area. But uh, anyway, it's a pretty fun app. I definitely recommend this light version, but for the paid version, I'm not sure. So let's get this start. It's going to be kind of hard to show you since I have to tilt forward to go. But anyway, see as you guys see, uh, great graphics, no frame rate issues in this app at all. Um, the steering can get kind of annoying, actually, to be honest with you, especially because I have to go tilt to go forward, and I can't do that right now while reviewing it. But uh, yeah, cars can bump you, and when they do, they bump you off the side of the road, which makes everything more complicated. So the app can be pretty fun if you're in first, but if you're in the back, obviously it's just kind of a downer and it's no fun at all and you can't get to the front and you want to break your iPod. But anyway, this is pretty much all I have for it right now. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a fun application. I don't know if I'd recommend the paid one just because there's so many racing games out there. Uh, I don't know if this would be the one that I would choose. There's Crash Bandicoot and there's Moto Chaser and uh, something else. What was that other one that I loved? My goodness. Anyway, I reviewed it like in my fourth review. Anyway, so this is pretty much all I have for this one. It's Burning Tires Light, a free app from the App Store. Definitely recommend the light version so you guys can go out and check it out. If you do like the gameplay, uh, go out and buy the paid version if you want to. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Uh, next app I have is called Buy Ball Light. I've got so many requests to do this application, and I'm kind of happy that I finally did it. Uh, it's not. It's it's all right. It's not too original. What you do is you just tilt this little uh, ball using the accelerometer to collect these stars and create a cute musical tune. Uh, you cannot touch any of the walls or any objects aside from these stars, and when you do, you pretty much just get screwed. Over here on the right is your lives, and when you touch anything, you lose one life. Uh, very simple application, as you guys see, at least when you start off. Uh, and this is the light version, so I'm sure it can get pretty complicated, but uh, you're using just the accelerometer, and when it does get into the deeper levels, just on the light version, uh, it can get pretty. It can become uh, pretty tough and strenuous to try and tilt uh, just the right amount. Example right here, this level is very close corridors, and you're trying to tilt just the right amount. And some of them just go straight across. Like no, can't go back. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I kind of panicked on that one. Uh, but yeah, you can't touch anything. Can't touch the walls. Can't touch the objects in the middle, or you will die a terrible death. Like that. Anyway, that's Bible Light, a free app from the App Store. I'd recommend the light version. Once again, paid version, not so sure. Uh, it doesn't seem like it have too much content to offer, but the light version is at least fun to mess around with for a couple of times. Anyway, next app I have, I love. It's called Tap of War, a free app from the App Store. Very original content. Uh, I wouldn't even think of this, but uh, everyone knows the game Tug of War. You got a rope, and you got either one versus one, or you got a thousand versus a thousand, and you're pretty much just pulling on it as hard as you can. Um to try and see who's the stronger one, but in this case we're doing it to see who can tap the fastest. So you have single player or versus mode in case you want to play a buddy of yours or an enemy and you can see who's better and tap of your, not stronger, I don't know. Anyway, so we're playing the computer up here and what you're doing is just tapping this little button down here to try and pull the rope over. First levels are very simple, I've got to like level 5 or 6 and I swear it's just, you're beating it so hard, it's just very complicated. And you're just tapping with like both fingers and it can get to be very strenuous and very just, oh boy, it can become very challenging. Uh, I think this would be a really fun application to actually play with a buddy. I have not yet. I've played the computer a couple times, and it's really fun application, actually. It captures, like, your attention. It's not too complicated. Instructions, it's very simple. All you're doing is just seeing who can tap faster, and it can get really tiring, too. And I just kind of want to just drag this review on just so I can see how far I can get. But I'm going to get here and beat him. I will beat you, computer. And beat them. Anyway, so that's pretty much the entire application for you right there. It's called Tap of War, a free app from the App Store. Definitely recommend that one, uh, especially because it's free. Very fun to mess around for a couple times. Anyway, last app that I have for you guys is called Beatbox Live. I did review the light version of this a while ago, but this one is a live version, which makes no difference whatsoever. It's just more packs and drum kits. 
and it's two dollars ninety nine cents, and I'm not sure if I would cough up three bucks for it. Uh, so you got a few different packs here: beatbox, 808s, Latin, hip hop, indie, and Euro drum kits. Uh, my favorite is definitely beatbox, just because it's insanely fun to mess around with. So all it is is you have twelve different pads here. You can do a couple different loops and play those behind your beats. As you see, none of those loops really go along with beatboxing at all, but anyway. So that's pretty much what the entire thing is. That That's beatbox kit. Uh, there's uh, seven kits, six kits overall. I don't know how I got seven out of that. There's six kits overall. So you got a bunch of different noises, a bunch of different uh, beats you could make. The only thing kind of stinks about it is that there is no record feature, so you can't really play over your own beats or at least save your own beats to work on them later and make them bigger and better. You have to make them all fresh and original. You can't do any recording at all, which is really just kind of a downer and a letdown for this application, especially because it's three bucks to pay for. Um, if you're really into this, I would definitely recommend the light version. Just type in beatbox. You can find the light and free version. Uh, that comes with the hip hop drum kit. If you do enjoy that, then definitely come out and get the paid version. It's three bucks. But uh, if you're enjoying these kind of things where you just got you get simple pads and you're using your fingers to make beats, then definitely come out and get the paid version for three bucks. I'd recommend it. Um, that seems to be about all that I have for you guys today. I believe. Let's scan through this one more time. Yep. That's all I got for you guys today. Anyway, for all the people that have not noticed, I now have banners on my profile. Uh, so you can go over to my channel or you can look. If you're watching this in normal quality, look right there about, and you'll be able to see my video banner. If you're watching it in HD, watch right there, and you'll be able to see my banner. Yeah, I'm getting good at that, I know. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's my banner for my videos. If you want to see my channel banner, which is also very gorgeous, go over to my channel and check that out. It's also at the very top of the screen. And um, if you want to see all the runners up, I'll put a link in the sidebar right over here for that. And you can see all the runners up with also some really gorgeous banners. I loved all of them. It was a really tough decision. You guys did fantastic work out there. Uh, it's got a shout-out to everybody out there that made the uh, banners. My channel banner was created by HSM... No, it's Crazy HSM2, and my video banner was created by IP Touch Reviews, I think, something like that. Anyway, go over to the video link right over here in the left if you're watching normal quality. If HD, go down. Just check in the more info. I'll have the uh, video so you guys can go out and check out the banners and the winners and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks everybody for the banner submissions. Very great. Amazing work. I love you guys so much for doing all that for me. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today for the reviews. I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day.